Gorilla Stomping in a zoo. Okay, I'm gonna say sorry right now. This is gonna be like a 40 minute video. I'm sorry about that, but I'm trying to go through. I first go through and show you where you can find the gear to start this off, where you can buy ingredients, how you can find ingredients, and then I show you me doing the restoration glitch, showing how it works slowly up, and then I go in and chant, get better gear, and then I go and I show you how to get even better gear like weapons and stuff. But it takes a lot of just explaining everything you can do. And how to do it. I could do a quick five minute video of showing how it, you do it, but I feel bad then because I don't show you how I got the gear or how I got the ingredients. I show you all of that in this 40 minute video. I'm sorry that it's this long, but I wanted to explain everything that's possible and how you do it. You can skip all around and just say, oh, I only want to see how you do the glitch, then skip ahead. Otherwise, this is a full video on how to do every single step of it, all the way up to getting the, uh, the glitch to work. Or how you can do the glitch to work in a 10 minute video, but I'm showing you where to find every ingredient, every item for the glitch. But otherwise, here you guys go. Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Green TK, I'm back. And I'll be showing you <clears throat> Alchemy Glitch. This is not the first time I'm recording this beginning because I messed up something I should have done differently. So I'm redoing this. Um, to get it, you want to have four pieces of gear. You want to have a... I save these, I think. You want to have a necklace of crafting potions. You want to have a ring. You want to have gloves and you want to have a hat. I don't have the regular hat on me. I have the hat that I will show you how to get one later on, this one. So I need a hat. So the best place to go get one, and if you didn't know about that enchantment right there, is you have to go to here in Solitude. This is the first building to your right once you teleport to Solitude. I'll show you on the map real quick. It's here. Once you teleport to Solitude, it's right to the right. Talk to her. I've already talked oh, to her once today. What a light. Uh, so I'm going to have to skip it again. And I will tell you right now, to get stock stocks in an NPC to reset, you have to wait to 48 hours the best way is to look at them and then wait so they don't move they won't really move if you're looking at them while you're waiting this time otherwise they'll go all over the place and this store might be the best store to buy it and your goal is to get one piece of gear if you can get one crafting potions bell item you're good to go the charming the best thing to do is to get two or three but if you can get one you can de-enchant it at a chanter and then you get the enchantment, and then you just have to buy the four pieces. Uh, amulet, a helmet, a ring, and gloves. And this is the best place to buy it too. I don't have a helmet that's basic potion crafting, but this is the best place to go. Any form I read back when I was trying to find places to get this enchantment because I didn't have it on my character, said to Still go to her here. Oh, let me just and I'll tell you right now, it took me customer. like two hours of just waiting days. Like two hours of real time just to finally get her to sell one item. So I'm going to buy another hood. Because I'm going to be showing you an enchantment process. Look, there's crafting potions are 22% more powerful. There's the item. Like, I didn't... That was lucky because... I didn't think I was going to get an item like that. Just making sure there's no others in here. But this is the lady you want to go to. And I'll say right now, it might not take the first Finally. day you sleep and talk to her. Or it might not take the second, it might not take the fifth. But just keep trying until you get something to appear here to uh, buy off of her. That's only the first step. Now, since you have the item... I can't show the de-enchantment process because I do not have a save. You want to go to wherever you have an enchantment table. I might have one in my house there, I didn't even think about it. But I usually just go to Dragon's Reach, go inside, use the enchanter there. And there will be certain things you have to gather, and I'll be showing you different ways of gathering too before we can even get to the glitch, because I want to show you every process of how you do this glitch, instead of other people that just show you the glitch and how it works. I'm going to be showing you every process that we do. When you go to item, pick 
the hat. No. And then you go over and chant potions. And you go to soul gem and you pick the highest soul gem you have. And then you craft. And now you have the items. So now we have to go collect stuff. I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna pop up next. But the main place I like to go to is you have to buy po you have to buy stuff or collect stuff for potions. And the best place to go is you head down here, and this is the place where I farmed it. You head to Riften. Right, when we get there, I will start talking again. Okay, we're heading over there now, but before we head over there, I forgot to show Enchant Alchemy. So, I've been doing this glitch, that's why I'm so high level, is because you go to Alchemy, and once you hit 100 on anything, you can reset and you get experience for relearning the skills. You can hit Legendary. So you see Legendary 12 down there. So basically, you want two points in this, one point here, and one point here. The more points you have here, the better they are. So if you get all, if you can do all five, do all five, but just do two. I believe it requires a level 40 for two. It's either 20 or 40, I can't remember entirely. But you do two to get right here. And then you do one here and one here. And those are the four you need. Now when we're traveling there, you want to collect certain items. Now I'm going to be naming off all the items. And I'll be showing you how to get some items right here. So the items you want is you want for the restoration to even do the glitch. You want a, uh, a, a long fin, a spade tail, salt pile, small antlers, small pearl, any of those items. For the enchantment to get this to at least get started so you can don't have to worry about it is blue butterfly wing, head uh, head head graving claw snowberries or springing staff and there's some others for dlc but i'm not showing the dlc way so once you get in here there is the alchemy place right here and this is where you can get some items all the and there's multiple ways of getting it and i'll be showing you some ways just first go in here Are you feeling all right, dear? Have you managed? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. So you go to ingredients. She has two of these, so we buy both. Uh, that is for the fortify restoration potion. Hegraven claws. That is for the fortified enchantment. Salt pile is for restoration. Now we can even make some right now. Restoration with the stuff we have. Snowberries is for the enchanting one. And they didn't have the other stuff. So same thing with doing for the clothing. You just wait here for two days and it restocks our inventory. And during this time, I'm going to be explaining. Head Griven Claw, Snowberries, you can go out and collect it. You don't have to buy any of it. I'm just showing you that you can buy it. I'm going to be showing you how to collect fish. The other things, you just have to go kill Spriggins or Raven Claws, or you just have to go out and kill things or gather berries. I don't know the best locations for them. I just want to. Be careful. I just went to camps and stuff, and I went to caves and found them and killed them. That's usually where I go for when I'm finding certain items. And you only need enough for one enchantment potion. I already have enough for four, I believe, for the Hag Riven, Claws, and Snowberries. Because you only need two of the three items. I'm just trying to get more for restoration, because it's going to take some time to get it perfectly. To Shore's Stone. Are you... So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? And now, she might not have any of the things we're looking for. Happens sometimes. There's some salt pile. 
snow berries. So there's nothing really much here. So this is one place you can go. The, road to the other thing you can do dangerous. is you want to wait until daytime to do this because it's the best way to do it when you're in the daytime. I have an item on that gives me infinite water breathing. If you don't have one, just go to the surface. And this is going to be a long video. Like I said, even before I get to the lich, I'm just trying to show you everything you need to do this. And before we even go there, I'm going to quickly equip. Okay, I went back to my house. I'm back down to 420 pounds. I'm still 20 pounds close to my limit. But that's fine because I can't do any more. Most of the items I have on me are for cer certain reasons. And I usually wear that necklace just to collect items. And then I put a lot of items that are quest related items or not quest items, but stuff to unlock stuff later on. So I'll eventually have to go back and get those. But your next goal is, I should have just went through, through the gate there. Next goal is, since we don't have enough fish to really start this, I'll show you where I gather fish. Best way is to go outside, on either side of Riften. And the lake right here <clears throat> is full of them. And all you have to do is just swim, swim, swim around and pick them up. That's all you have to do. See the fish here? They don't swim away, and some of them are. There's one. But you can find both fish here, and I swam around for a long time doing this the first time. I could have left it behind. I could have put it back where it came from. That's a quest that they're talking about some quest up there, but I'm not really curious about that. But yeah, your main goal is just swim around here, find all, all the fish. I'm not gonna find the other fish. No, I did. That's the other fish you don't want to look for. So you can find both fishes here. Same thing, I think they reset every so often, so you just have to wait so long. But this is the place you want to go to catch all the fish. I'll probably... And you can swim around this entire lake and do this over and over. And get fish this way instead of buying it. If you can't buy it. I'm probably going to go quickly farm some fish off the alchemy person there. And I'll be back when we get to the alchemy glitch. And I'll be using Dragon's Reach Alchemy's Table to do. Otherwise, I'll see you guys then. Okay, before we even do that, I'm going to grab even more gear. This is another way to... You want to quick save before something. Attack the person. Then load that quick save. That will restock all her stuff. And I'll do it a few times just to show you. It's a faster way than the couple day thing. I you forgot all about pale. this until I started ah, looking up. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Again. So there's that. So look, Come back you bought stuff off of her. You quick save. If you need a remedy. What are you? A little bit quick save. And this is not a quick way of doing it. Pardon me, but do it. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? See now she. Oh. I Ingredients. I grab that 
see, this is a really quick way to do it. I forgot all about this. Farewell. Quick save, and that's it. That's what you do. This is not a way to get items pretty quickly. Quick save, attack, and it's better than waiting two days. So, I'll meet you guys up there when I have this stuff. Okay, hello YouTube, this is Mr. KG. Ah, while well, I'm doing this, uh, so we're at our alchemy station in Dragon Reach. You want to quick save or save. I was doing stuff, I was farming material again. Because you need a sh ton of stuff. So you want to make sure, and this is a lower save because you can tell by the stuff I'm wielding. This, this, this is a lot lower save than what we had. Just because I went through and I had to find a save that wasn't messed up because automatic without the potion crafting stuff on, I was making 22%, thousand percent better potions. So you want to go in here, you want to craft potions since I haven't crafted on here yet. You need a ton of material for this to get to the breaking point. So I, I have 30, I can make 32 potions in total. You want to craft the potion, go into your items, go to apparel, unequip, consume the potion, re-equip. Just do it again. That's all you want to do. And just keep repeating that. And I'm going to be doing this for a while, so if you want to skip ahead, when I start showing you the big gains, we will do it then. But otherwise, if you want, if you want to skip forward, skip forward. Like 87. Next one is going to be... You also want to do this all in one go. 101. You want to do this all in one go because if you don't do it all in one go, like if you don't unequip, drink potion, oh, be equipped. I thought you were already on your way to the in your inventory, like you back out of your inventory any time during that, it will screw up the entire thing. And you have to restart. You want to just keep doing this over and over, and like I said, it's just gonna take some time. That's why you need a lot of these. I didn't think I would be doing this video today. I thought I would be doing this video later on, like, Monday, if anything. So, I'm doing this now just to get over and done with. So, and I had to, this is the, like the fifth or sixth time of me doing this part right here. Me making the potion, just because I didn't have enough resources the first two or three times. And I kept on messing up certain things. We're already at 36%, which that is almost as strong as all four items that we started off with. This is at 150%. And this is going to slow down. That's why you need a lot of this. It's going to start slowing down here to like maybe 10% each time. Like that is 7%. So. That's why you need a lot of this.
And like I said, it it just takes time. It takes time, and you need a lot of these. Like 174 percent. Hundred and eighty-two percent. I might still might not have enough resources to do this. I might have to redo this video again. God damn it, I didn't equip my stuff again. That might have screwed it right there. I don't know, I don't think it did. We're gonna be able to tell here in a second. Oh, 192, so it didn't really screw it up. I that could have screwed it up. I got very lucky there. He's already unequipped the item and then drank the potion. Two hundred percent, two hundred one percent. You need like two fifty to two seventy, and then that's when it's really gonna jump. See, now we're getting somewhere because this is gonna be like yeah 214 like that just jumped four percent on my I am there oh I thought you were already on your way to off barrel. I think that only jumped two percent that time. Two hundred and forty six percent. I think I do have enough material to actually do this. Two hundred and sixty seven percent. I'm gonna get a level up here soon. Piro. Two hundred and ninety three percent. I think after this potion, this is where it's gonna start jumping. Yeah, look, now we're up to 59% on that item. Look, now 330%. That's a big jump there. Not as big as I thought it was going to be, but... Yeah, 64%, so we're jumping. We're jumping, jumping, jumping. Now it's three hundred and eighty percent. Like it's just gonna keep jumping. The higher your base gear is when you do this, the higher this jump is gonna be each time. See seventy two percent. Four hundred and sixty four percent. See these jumps are big now. Six hundred. Hundred and six percent more powerful. Nine hundred percent. I'm gonna make a second one just to have it.
Now we're at 1,700. And you probably want to make like three of them here. See, now that's up to 3,000. So you can definitely see these just increase. Now, we're gonna do this. 5,000. You can keep going and going and going. I'm not gonna have the resources to do it. So I'm gonna craft two. And I'm gonna show you the last potion I can make just to show you. So now, this is how big it is, 40,000. That's way over what we need. But now we're gonna make a... Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Fleet Ball Pharaoh. go out and he's at 195 four percent enchant should be higher than that so we're gonna go out drink that potion of 40,000 yeah look a thousand percent Okay, there you go. So now we have a thousand percent ones. You want to exit this? This is also why we bought clothing. Oh, I thought you were using Chancer. You have to wait until he's off a bit. Go to your potions. Consume the enchanted potions of one thousand. Go to a hat. Go to fortify alchemy. Go to gloves, fortify alchemy. Go to a ring, fortify alchemy. And then go to a necklace. I don't have a necklace on me, which is fine. Since now we have the gear, go in, go to your apparel. Now I'm gonna equip these because these, these are gone. These are no longer useful. So now you look 500. It's not gonna be the intense versions. I'm gonna have still like that for right now since we don't have a. Okay, so after we've gathered supplies again, I'm gonna just do the restoration glitch again, but to then get to a four or five level. So if we, I'm gonna quick save. Um, if we look at it real quick, just to look at a restoration potion I can make, it's gonna start at 438%, 430, or 83%. So we're gonna create one. Then we're gonna do the glitch to get to a really high state. I'm gonna drink a few of these, I may back up.
Look, these are already, already at a super high level. So now when we go craft another one, that's why I made backup. Like, now that's ridiculous. We really don't want that high of stuff. So I crafted just a cow, two of these. And now we want to go to ingredients. Find the blister wood and glowing mushroom. I still have these equipped. I didn't mean to have equipped. Like 7,000% better is not too bad. Now I've also collected stuff again to make See, a thousand percent better is not too bad either. So, we're gonna quickly make a potion. I have the stuff for it. Need wheat, giant's toe, and. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Creep Hall, Cluster. Man. Make these potions are really, really expensive. Make two of them just to get them real quick. We already got Alchemy to level 100. That's the max you can get. Now we can legend. We can make it a legendary. Now we have the. We have everything we need. I'm not making any more potions. If we really want to, we can quickly consume that chant and potion. Go through what and make a ring doing? and the Jarl said retrieving that stone tablet is a priority. Remember? I don't have an amulet, like I said, so that's fine. We're gonna drop the ring we have on right now. Don't have a necklace, but that's fine. We got pretty much everything. Now, since we have the potions, and now we can do those potions wherever we want. It doesn't take long to actually get up to that point again. That's why you want to make gear as soon as possible with enchanting. Now, we want to run down to the blacksmiths. We're gonna save again when we're down here. These saves I'm gonna have for backup just in case I lose any portions of these videos. I don't think I will because I'll upload it Monday. I'll edit it Sunday night and upload it Monday. So. <clears throat> we're gonna save. And we're gonna consume a potion real quick. You don't have the moonstone or the steel wing on it, so that's what we are missing. But if we go to armor, we need leather. So we need three leather. So we're gonna load that safe. I should have checked it beforehand. Now we're gonna wait until daytime. So three leather. So I'm probably gonna buy six leather. You find moonstone and steel it. Put yourself up against a wall like this because vampires can still happen, but it's least likely to happen. Sorry for this video being so long, but I wanted to show every step of us doing it. And like I said, you can go higher with restoration. I don't. I don't see a point to. Got some good, the finest weapons and armor. Don't forget check inside the shop if you need anything. Doing the same glitch like I showed you earlier. I'll probably do a whole video just explaining how that works and that separately. So if you guys want to know how to do it, do it that way. I don't claim to be. Hmm. 
I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. Have you met I remember my, my headphones are not mm. plugged Blades, into my controller, helmets, so I don't really pretty care much what anything to suit your needs. I just want to get to the Solanius again. So we want two of these. Now we're going to save All right. over that file we first saved with. So now we're going to drink the potion. Craft. You can craft them again, but they sometimes go down in damage. I help my father in more. See, I don't have the, I don't have the perks for do magical items. Otherwise, like a hundred, you can go really high. You can go like a thousand on each. It just depends on how long you do the potions. So even right now, out doing. Go and do potions again, like do it in the video. My weapon right here, my bow, is 456 damage. That's really good. That's like one shot and everything on hard difficulty, the hardest difficulty. But dragons, drag some dragons and certain enemies might take four or five shots, but that's still pretty good. To have this here, my other characters they have really really good gear. So when you do enchant the enchantment one, I'll take my leave. Then. We're, I'm gonna show you in Jetman real quick. I'm gonna check if I have it in here. Yeah. Oopsie. I didn't. I didn't have that yet. So that's a good thing I went up here. I'm gonna quickly make one more enchantment just to show you what you can do. Otherwise, that's basically it. And sorry about this video being super long, but I'm trying to show you guys everything you had to do to get up to the point to do the glitch and what the glitch does do. And this is I'm recording this in 2018, 4:29. Um. April Father 29. says I'm too so young to change this still sword, works. So I and this is the fist. Xbox One edition. The special edition. So it works. I'm quickly gonna find the item. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. I probably don't have it. I don't have the fortify enchantment to for increased inventory. So let me quickly check real quick for disenchant just to see. But otherwise, when you have it, I don't think I have it. Yeah, I don't have it. You can make it so sneaking's up at like a thousand percent, or you can make it so inventory is at twenty-seven thousand. Wait, that's what my other character has. But basically, once you get an enchantment, I don't know where to find that. That's just me running around randomly. You unenchant the item, and then you can just get that enchantment to super high. You just use the alchemy items you have. Like if I load my guy real quick. So we go to... We're going to load my guy real quick. My... We're going to save it real quick, because I want when I load for... Um, a stream I don't want to be loading that one but otherwise that's basically it that's how you do the glitch sorry that it was long but this glitch still works the alchemy potion glitch on the new Skyrim special edition or old Skyrim doesn't matter we're gonna save real quick and then I'm gonna show you if I look at my person I did it to the amulet I'm wearing which is that's how much my amulet I can hold. I can hold that much weight, four hundred forty-six thousand. So I four hundred forty-five thousand. So it's pretty decent to have. And every time you level up to a hundred with alchemy, you can just keep refreshing and getting gaining points. Otherwise, that's the glitch. Uh, you can also do it so you restore like. 10,000 health every five seconds and there's so much you can do you can put two enchantments on each gear or piece if you do the um if you upgrade enchant up to the highest point and you can make god tier armor i don't like running around guard tier armor i like having really high damage weapons but also being one shot all the time just because i'm like last cannon type build for most games otherwise 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give a like. If you haven't already subscribed channel, recommend subscribing channel. Otherwise, this has been Mr. Grease Crazy Deacon signing off. And have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. And hopefully I see you guys next video. Peace.